In fact, I was really proud of the boys because I um, thought 2-0 was, when everything's going not your way, it's not going your way. You know, two key players having to come off early. Second goal, my defender slips, so the guy's got a free header. And, um, you know, when it's not going for you, it's not going for you. And, and when they scored the third, which again was a defensive error, heads could have gone. And I um, thought for the next 25 minutes, we've, well, I think we've pretty much battered them. Um, we scored one, that's got to be a red card. And their keepers made three great saves. And if we get the second, then it's really game on. We didn't, and the fourth is, again, I'm afraid, a defensive error that flatters the scoreline. And, and I was proud of the boys for the way against, with so many things going against them, that we, we stuck with a team that I think will either win this or, or certainly be right up there competing to win this. So um, I don't think it needs to be too disheartened. I'm frustrated and understand why we lack a bit of belief. Um, the age of our players and when things go wrong with two key players having to come off so early, you know, people slipping at key moments, you can see that lack of belief. But then when we got the goal, it suddenly all came flooding back and, and, and I thought we played some fantastic football at times. And so it's a very, very good side. So, you know, we get that second, we're banging it. Um, but we didn't deserve to, you know, to get anything from the game from, from individual errors that, that conceded these goals. And we keep making individual errors and we keep having to climb mountains. And it's something, you know, we're, we're coming towards a quarter of the season in the next week. We've got two very hard games to come. And I've just said it in there. Going to have to look very seriously at how we set up the team. We, we try and pass the ball. And I think even today we've, 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 we've played some very, very good football at times. It was a very good footballing game, um, um, but we don't look like keeping clean sheets, too many individual errors, and um, having to climb mountains every game is something we, we, we've got to resolve, and it doesn't get any harder than going to Bognor, who have just beaten the side, I think, that's second in the Conference South, followed by the league leaders away next Saturday. So, you know, with our injury list, we'll have to see who's, who's fit and available. You had a period in the second half where Bill Wilson made a number of crucial saves. Was that a turning point, do you think? Yeah, I mean, if we got the second, I think we would have gone and got a point. I don't think we would have won the game. Um, I thought their keeper made three fabulous saves, but we created another three or four chances on top of that that didn't obviously score. It, it, was, it was a crucial 25 minutes where we got one. There was the red card decision that we didn't get. I mean, if that's not a clear goal, got a scoring opportunity, I don't know what is. But then you saw their experience. I mean, every player of theirs, give or take, is a Conference South or higher player. And as soon as that whistle went, their captain straight in the, in the ref's ear. And that's the experience we don't have. Um, not complaining, that's, that's what you get. And uh, he's done his job superbly, and it's, it's a yellow instead of a red. Whether that would have, you know, um, change the final score who knows but it you know 10 men for 35 minutes would have been helpful and but we as you know I was really proud of the effort we put in and we played some fabulous time and they said their keepers made two or three fabulous saves and if it goes 3-2 I think we go and get a point so I think the, the big pluses were when we went 3-0 down you know other seasons we would have ended up losing 5-6 or even the dreaded 7 that we have here and it, it was the complete opposite I thought we were we were a credit to us for Till the 89th minute, and it's just a very soft, another defensive error that, that's that's given them a flattering scoreline, um, which doesn't tell how hard we worked and when things just aren't quite going for you. How are Tom Broadbent and Perry Wright? Yeah, it's not good. We're um, you know we're we're, we're racking them up. Um, Tom did his back in the challenge from Erskine, which looked like a rugby tackle, but he got away with it down on the right hand side here. He's he's got a massive spasm. Perry Ryan's got an infected toe. Uh, which he uh, made worse in the warm-up and tried, but it, it didn't work. Um, Harry Williams was struggling, as you could see there, um, and there's a few others as well. So there will have to be changes on Tuesday night. There's no question about it. We are uh, we're really struggling. I was pleased to see Nick Brown here today, but he wasn't really fit to go onto the pitch. Um, he did the warm-up, so he's not. He's getting closer, which is good. Um, we've set, sent Ed Sanders out on a dual reg, and he's played the last three games, so to get 90 minutes under his belt and on a number of occasions. So we've got some possibilities there and we've got a couple of new lads that we're expecting to be with us on Tuesday um, that didn't quite happen in time for today. But, you know, we'll just have to go again. I said it, was, it, wasn't a, it wasn't a terrible performance, but these individual errors are killing us. So you're not getting any luck. But, um, you know, we were up against a very, very good side. Um, I thought their fans were fantastic and we made them very quiet for 25 minutes. They were, they were well under the cosh and I'll give my youngsters a lot of credit for doing that. Does it give you confidence heading into Tuesday's game that you've beaten Bogner before? No, because they'll probably want to hammer us for, the, for that defeat. Um, they've had a fantastic result today. 
Um, as I said at the moment, I have no idea what, what team squad we will be able to put out. Um, I've just said to the players, you need to talk to us after the game here, find out how everybody's feeling. But there's, there's an awful lot of players, as I said, that are struggling at the moment. Um, it's a fairly long trip down there. We're certainly racking up the mileage in the next few weeks. Um, we'll go there as massive underdogs, but you know we're taking some pluses out of today. Because I said, I think everyone saw here for 25 minutes, and he, you know we played some great football. Their keepers kept kept the big gap between them and us at, at bay. And even in the first half, there wasn't a lot in it. We created three or four great chances. Bobby Dale for him, you know, two weeks ago, he scores two goals in the first half. The one where he's lobbed over the keeper with just the keeper to beat. Another one's hit the side netting. So it's individual errors that are, are, are hurting us at the moment. Um, and they'll come a stage quite quickly where we have to say, look, it's all well and good, you're looking good for 80 minutes in the game, but we're making these errors and we're having to climb mountains every game. And it's, it might have to look at the system. We played the same team again today and you know, we try and be consistent. But as I said, there will have to be changes on Tuesday purely due to the injuries. Thank you, Spencer. All right, good luck. Cheers, Cheers Tom.